All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We are back. Continuing with our look at first the Torah portion, the annual Torah portion. We'll go through a little uh, highlight of the Torah portion. This week's Torah portion, uh, the annual portion, is Genesis 28, verse 10, all the way through 32, verse 3. So, oh, the, ver the Torah portion is Vayetse, uh, Vayetse, which is, and he went out. And he went out. And so we will deal with a few verses, the beginning verses of the Torah portion, which is Genesis 28, verse 10. And we'll read all the way down to verse 17. Genesis 28, 10 through verse 17. Right. <clears throat> and Yaakov went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran. And when he came upon a place and stopped over for the night before the sun had set, and he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head, and he lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, uh, and he dreamed and saw a ladder set up on the earth, and its top reached to the heavens, and saw messengers of Elohim going up and coming down on it. And see, Yahweh stood above it and said, I am Yahweh Elohim of Abraham, your father, and the Elohim of Yitzchak. The land on which you are lying, I give it to you and your seed. And your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall break forth to the west and to the east, to the north and the south. And all the clans of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your seed. And see, I am with you and shall guard you wherever you go and shall bring you back to this land, for I am not going to leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. And Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Truly, Yahweh is in this place, and I did not know it. And, and he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is this is none other than the house of Elohim, and this is the gate of the heaven. Okay, very good. Very good. So it's interesting when we look at these beginning verses here of this uh, Torah portion, which deals with um, Yaakov going over to the land which uh, he was promised and he has this dream with this uh, these ladders which we come to call uh, Jacob's right? so it's interesting when we look at the um, part of scripture here um, there's a few different things that we can talk about as relates to uh, Jacob's ladder, this, this vision that he had of this ladder um, that as verse 12 say that it was set up on the earth and the top of it reached up to the heavens. Um, if we go down to verse uh, 16, where he has this realization that, um, you know, truly it says Yahweh is in this place and I did not know it, which was interesting. So I guess when he's talking about not knowing it, I guess whenever he decided to stop at the place, right? But when he was able to have um, the ultimate uh, quiet moment which one has 
typically uh, once a day, at least, or when you uh, sleep, when he was able to be still um, and have his mind um, free of all distractions, he was able to realize that this particular place was a place where the Most High was able to dwell there. Um, or at least there was this pathway, as he saw in his dream, uh, a connecting point for between um, the heavens and the earth. And so when we think about the place where the temple would stand, you know, the temple becomes this place where the Most High dwells, right? In the land, I'm saying, you know, we have the, of course, the tabernacle that traveled through the wilderness and the Most High, of course, dwelt there, but the, you know, the destination was to the, the Holy Land where the temple would actually stand, which would be the place where the Most High dwelled. So when we look at this uh, dream that Jacob had, it's, it's almost kind of prophetic because we think about the covenant, which says that, uh, you know, you'll be a great people and you'll have this particular land. But with this idea of this land that you'll have, it will also be this holy land where the Most High actually dwells. And literally calls it and says that this is the gate of the heavens. Um, you know, a gate is the entry point, right? The gate is a door. Right? The gate is the only place, if there's a fence around a place, the only place you could get through into it is through the gate. Um, it's interesting that Yeshua speaks about being the door. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that Yeshua talks about the fact that, you know, being the door, anybody who comes in some other way um, is a thief and a robber. Um, by the way, not as to say that there is other ways, because if a thief and a robber comes in, something bad going to happen to them. Yep. It's going to have to be taken out. Um, and so there's only one way in, right? And it's through the gate. So it's interesting that, you know, Yaakov here in this dream sees the vision of this place where there is this kind of ultimate uh, connecting point between earth and the heavens. And it just happens to be the place where later the temple would actually be. And then if we think about it even further than that, we think about Yeshua, where he, um, you know, through what he does, his work with sending us back is Ruach HaKodesh, uh, HaKodesh, where we literally become the temple of Elohim, where we have access to the heavenlies here on earth. And so when we look at this thing where it talks about Jacob's ladder, I think the initial thing that you would think about is what, what happened in, this, in the, you know, the, the linear kind of... Uh, you know, space and time, which which is the actual um, holy land where the temple will be. But we know that all of that is a, it really happens, but it's a picture of what would be where people of the Most High will all be you know, temples of Elohim and have that access to the most high. Um, okay, so 
Does anybody have any thoughts, questions, comments about this here dealing with uh, Jacob's dream of this ladder? Okay. Very good. Just a short snippet dealing with the rest of the chapters there. We, of course, have... 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 in its entirety in the on the YouTube channel. Go ahead and click on the link in the description to any one of those chapters you want to look at an in in-depth uh, conversation about it. And if you ever have any questions that aren't mentioned, just go ahead and put those in the comments.